our dynamos aka waluka waluka lost over the weekend in the past mtn super rig and uh, just uh, a couple of days ago we also watched took place when uh, power dynamos rushed uh, to prison leopards uh, they fired their crab chairman they made reshuffles in the executive and they want in short they wanted positive results but what happened next they prayed against forest rangers and they lost by two goals to one with Clifford Mring scoring a free kick in the dying minutes of the game beating uh, power dynamos by two goals to need to one meaning power dynamos they have played four games this season and they have lost four of them it's four against four for me what i can say is uh, power dynamos problems they are more administrative than technical why am i saying so a lot in football happens and a lot of instructions happen so you never know maybe somewhere somehow the coach is being influenced by certain people who want certain prayers to pray who want certain prayers to pray on which position so that when they dig they have been sought that's just my opinion but what's happening at power dynamos is worrisome a big club a big team like power dynamos being beaten being demolished four out of four in the first four games of the mtn first super rig and then we move on big one at kawe warriors uh, we call it a uh, godfrey h taru 107 stadium it's the iconic stadium you all know the name yuka 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 yes Ghana visited the 107 stadium in Kawe playing against Kawe Warriors it was a big game of the week very catch encounter you know how Ghana uh, fans behave every decision which was made by the center referee it was more like it was against Ghana but the left kept on doing his job and then what transpired there was the let go by Alex Bazo Gonga when he scored it in the dying minutes of the game that was a clincher that was the win from Ghana and Ghana beat Kawa Warriors by a goal to nil. Now look at this. Ghana have been impressive at Railway Stadium. Since 2010, Ghana they have never lost a game at the iconic stadium in Kawe. Very impressive. So it, final score was Ghana won the worst Kawa Warriors nil. Kawe Warriors losing two games in a row. No, no, not even two games. It's three games in a row. We move on. Uh, Prison Leopards versus Rusaka Dynamos. It was one of uh, another big games uh, with uh, Rusaka Dynamos beating uh, the Kawe side also uh, by a goal to nil. And then the Crocs. Kafi Celtic also recorded a 1-0 win over 
the builders built gold. Wow. The battle of the army wins. Red Arrows versus GBFC fight and conquer boys Green Buffaloes. Seems like this season Green Buffaloes is I mean they are fighting and conquering because Green Buffaloes they have played four games, three wins and a draw. Final squad in Coroma Stadium it was Green Buffaloes two and the host Red Arrows one. Chambeshi Kansashi Dynamos, we all saw what transpired. It was a 1 1 draw. Then, shock of the week. If you love betting, maybe ticket here and enough. Zanako, we are at home. Host to Sharp Concora Braids, Sharp Razor. The Chiravombe boys. They were beaten by two goals to Neil. Zanakwa Tom losing uh, to Sharp Concora Bridge. Wow. Then Nkwazi, I find Nkwazi versus Green Eagles. I think Nkwazi and the and Ego, they are one of the same bed species. High fry Nkwazi and an, and an Ego. The game ended into a draw. Both teams sharing a point each. So this is what transpired in the MTN Fuzz Super Rig over the weekend with Power Dynamos yet to win a game busy dropping points, busy fighting relegation. Nkana doing it in style and Zesco beating Indeni by a goal, I mean by two goals to Neil, uh, John Chingandu with a brace. So Zesco they are doing fine. Uh, they have got six points out of two games because they are Played two games. We all know we all, oh, what transpired. They were involved in the CAF Champions League. So they've only played two games and they have won those two games. They have got two games in hand. Red Arrows, despite going through into the next round of the CAF Confederations Cup, not impressive. Not impressive. They lost to Nkana last week, and then this week again they have lost to uh, 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 Green Buffaloes. So this this is this was it. Uh, week four of the MTN Fast Super League. You can see the scoreboard scorings uh, scoring on the screen. Also, over the weekend, we had Faz Eden University National League. The results also they are scoring on the screen. You can check them out. This has been your host, Ben Bola. Join me next time on the same platform. Yeah,